Hi everybody, this is Dave Whipple, and you're watching Bush Radical. We're back in the same pile of wood to do one more video about axes. This is probably actually like uh, part five of a thousand part series because there's so much to talk about. There's so much ground to cover on this subject. Today I want to talk about cruiser axes. Now, everybody loves a good cruiser axe, right? Nice little double bit, 28 inch handle, usually very, feels good to, to, to hang on to it. My personal opinion, don't throw rocks at me, don't get mad at me, but this is just my personal opinion. I would leave this axe at home first before I would leave any other axe at home. Number one, <clears throat> a cruiser axe by design is light. It's easy to carry and it's just a chopper. You don't have a pole on it, so you're not gonna use it to, to drive any kind of a peg. You're not gonna use it to pound anything. It's just a chopper. You can use one side to chop roots and stumps and whatnot and let it get dinged up and keep the other side nice and sharp. So it's got a use that way, like any other double bit. But being so light, it's not gonna split wood worth beans. And it's gonna have a smaller handle, which means it's farther up off the ground if you try to split with it. So you're basically gonna have to split on your knees with it. You also have to put a lot of force into splitting with an ax like this because they're generally pretty thin profiled. So as much as people love cruisers, and as much as I like cruisers, and as much as I have a couple, honestly, I can't find a good use for a cruiser. I just can't. A cruiser is just too light to be of any benefit. Maybe if you're dialing in an apple tree, you can get up in an area and work off a branch. And the benefit in that regard would be that it's got a short handle. But you could do the same thing with a hatchet, and it's probably got a much shorter handle. The other thing about a cruiser axe is a double bit pattern like this. You always got one side that's looking to get you. Even if you're, you know, you got one side facing away, you got one side facing right at you. I think the beauty of a double bit is the balance. If you're just going to be felling with an axe, you can have a double bit that's razor sharp and it's got perfect balance. They're accurate and they, they feel right as a felling axe. But you're not going to do much felling with an axe this size. This thing is like two and a half pounds all together and it's got a it's got a small bit you're gonna have to put a lot of force into this it's not realistically a good felling axe car coming by so if i don't like a cruiser axe if i can't really find a good use for a cruiser axe why did i make this video i made this video because if you're a collector you've probably got five of these things if you're a bushcrafter you've probably at least got a couple of them and if you're new to the outdoors and you're drawn to this short little double bit axe, I can see where they would be appealing. You'd be like, that's an interesting design. I, I kind of like that concept, and that's the axe I want to get first. If you're just getting into outdoor pursuits, or you're just moving from the city out to the country, or you're just getting into camping, or, or you're getting into the bushcraft thing, I can see where that kind of an axe might be appealing to somebody. I know it's appealing to me, but honestly, I can't find a good use for it where another axe isn't better. So I made this video for the people who are just getting started with their need for an axe as a tool. And I would have to say there's other things that are going to do the same work, but be more usable and probably safer. Something like this, if you just need a small axe for just working working down branches out of a little little tree in your yard or just to have around that's just going to be doing chopping work and you're probably not going to use it to split anything other than kindling. Just the boys axe like this. It's got a pole on the back so you've got yourself a hammer. You don't want to drive railroad spikes with it but I mean it's you know that's what it's there for it. Whether it's designed that way or not people use them for a hammer. So an axe like this that's a single bit is going to do what you want that axe to do safer and it's going to have more usefulness because it's got a flat pole on the back and that's the only reason i wanted to make this video for the person who's new to the tool for the person that doesn't own an axe and wants to get into uh, into outdoor pursuits or is uh, is moving to the country and, and they're going to need to buy a tool that they're not familiar with 
As opposed to a Cruiser X, I think that a, a single bit Boys X is a better option. And I'm not a huge advocate of a Boys X either. So I guess the Cruiser X I'd probably put right on the bottom of the pile of what I would use and, and what I would take out into the woods or into my yard or into my wood pile and actually use. The Cruiser is probably the bottom of the barrel in my opinion. I hope you guys have enjoyed this different take on an old favorite, the Cruiser Axe. Even though I just crapped all over it. It's not that it's not useful, it's just other axes I think are more useful. And if you're a collector, uh, I love these things. I think they're cool. I, I, it's just a nice little small double bit. But when it comes to being a utilitarian, I can't find many good uses for this that this won't cover and do a better job and be more versatile. Thanks for spending your time with me today. If you've got another take on this subject, please leave your comments below. I appreciate everything that you guys send to me and I try to get right back as soon as I possibly can. It's good to get everyone's opinion on, on a subject like this so you see all the sides and you see where everybody's coming from uh, with their own thinking. Please don't forget to subscribe. This is Dave Whipple and you are watching Bush Radical. Be radical, eh? Thank you.